My name is Agastya. A G A S T Y A. Natural history is is like the study of all living things, like like bugs, plants, and bugs, plants, birds. And it makes you smarter because you get to know all the things, living things outside. This plant, that plant, that bee, that bee. You guys should talk about the cicadas first. The cicada nymph looks like a beetle-like thing with large claw-like legs. It, it's not a larva, okay? It's a nymph. It's like a wingless for the adult. It had to have that a long tube-like thing. Not like a butterfly, which is bendy, but like a stick. It used it to poke through the roots of some trees and suck out the, the root juices. It had to do that for 17 years until uh, shedding its skin several times. So there's this beetle that we caught. It's called a water scavenger. It eats dead animals. It has to get an air, air bubble in its wing covers, also called iotra, and gets, uh, gets also a layer of air on its belly, which makes a shimmering uh, coating, and goes underwater and beats it. So each time the wing covers run out of more air, it can just pass some of the air on its belly to the wing covers, and it can breathe that air. They breathe out of some tubes called spy spiracles. Yeah, I have a favorite insect. The yep. monarch butterfly. They migrate long distances to Canada first, and then they and then they gather large groups in one in one tree, like a fir tree or something. Each night they 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 fly to another tree until they finally reach Mexico, migrate to Mexico. That's where they stay for the whole winter. Then then they uh, fly back north and way yeah, On the common milkweed plants, we find uh, these these bugs called milkweed bugs. They are found in the milkweed fruits usually, and they're in the order Hemiptera. That means that they have sucking mouth parts. Just with cicadas, they suck up. They don't suck up the roots. They they suck up the the, the milkweed fruit instead, and that makes them develop venom, black colorings, making them poisonous to predators. The monarch does that in a similar way, except the caterpillar eats the milkweed, and anything that eats milkweed is gonna be poisonous to any insect-eating thing. Bye.